everyone so i'll be using viva Lain or just any other powdered milk so this recipe my recipe this particular recipe calls for a cup of milk two two cups of water okay so that's a cup of milk diluted first with about half cup of water after which i'll be adding the remaining half cup of water so generally in the end i'll be using like two cups of water but even at that the yogurt ended up being very thick so but it's better to have a thick have a thick consistency than to have a watery one so yes combined i'll still be adding like three quarter cup of water mix well mix well mix well mix well combining everything together okay so you can use it if you you can even yeah for me i use fuck so i'm still adding some more water to top of the three quarter making it like two cups of water okay so pour everything in a pot, put on fire, simmer for some time. Okay, keep stirring, don't allow it to sit, sit still, if not, it will burn and nobody wants burnt yogurt. So the idea is just to heat up, get it heated up, but be watching the sides of the pot once you start seeing bubbles like it wants to begin it wants to boil bring it down and yeah so that will be our culture because you need active culture to turn your ordinary milk to yogurt so i will be using store-bought unsweetened yogurt so for this my one cup of milk, I'll be using three spoonfuls of the store-bought unsweetened yogurt. I don't know, maybe if you use sweetened yogurt, it will give you the same thing. So to check for temperature, I put some drops of milk at the back of my palm and it wasn't burn. It didn't burn me. It was just okay. It wasn't hot. It wasn't good. It was just lukewarm. So I'll take some part of the milk to dilute the yogurt the starter or the culture okay remember our culture is store but already made yogurt so combine everything very well then put everything in a cup in, sorry put everything back in the plate or in a container and cover tightly so here is it there are so many ways to make yogurt really but for this recipe i'm going to be leaving this on my kitchen counter okay i'm not taking it anywhere i'm just leaving it on my kitchen counter covered with a hand towel so this is the next morning eight hours later my yogurt is set right my yogurt is set so yeah that is it yogurt is ready my yogurt is ready so even if i turn the plate nothing so right now see how thick it is so at this point if you want a lighter kind of yogurt when you scoop or dish your own you can now add water you can add milk if you noticed i didn't add sugar at any point in time i didn't add vanilla so it is when my yogurt is set so i put it in the fridge for some hours should i put it before going to work now i'm back from work in the evening and voila 
my cold yogurt is here ready to be eaten or served so yeah that's a scoop i didn't put it in the freezer this is coming right from the fridge all right so yeah two spoonfuls and it's very thick so the remaining one in the container i'm taking it right into my fridge at this point you can add some water to your yogurt if you're giving to children you want it lighter you can add some water to make it to the consistency you want you add some sugar you can add vanilla in togo here we add granuts you can add couscous and granuts and that becomes dege all right but the good thing about this is you will add sugar to your taste you can add banana instead of sugar all right so your yogurt is ready please try out this recipe and tell me how it goes thanks bye